Hey guys, it's Craig. This is the new Amazon Echo Dot fourth generation with its new design. I'm excited we get to take a look at this early. It hasn't been released yet. It comes out in a couple of days. I wanna see what this new design's all about and see how the sound stacks up next to the previous generation. Let's take a look. Before we get this open, I wanna thank all of you for your help growing this community to the point that Amazon sent this over for early access to make this video. So thank you for that. I thought it'd be great to share this first look and initial impressions video with you guys. This is not a review, I'll need more time with that. Also, I wanna to put together a full sound comparison with some of the other Echo devices. Full disclosure, this is a review unit sent over from Amazon. But on this channel, I work for you guys. You make it all happen so I can do this. And my opinions are my own. So no one at Amazon has seen this video before you guys get to see it. This unit's going back, but the ones I ordered are coming in in a couple of days. Uh, if you wanna order any or learn more about them, you could click on the links in the description. In my Amazon device video that you could find in the description, I brought up this new design and whether it's to serve a better function and improve sound, it, was it to just change up the look of things or does it kind of do a nice balance of good aesthetics and good sound out of it? So that's really what I want to explore in this video. I guess I could answer my questions if I just open it up. There it is, everything in the box. You got some paperwork, you got the power supply and the main event, the Echo Dot fourth generation. It's just such a different design. This is the twilight blue color. It's also available in charcoal and glacier white. And the regular Echo is $49.99. One of my favorite devices, the Echo Dot with clock, that is $59.99. I think having a clock is great. The Echo's sitting there, it's nice to be able to glance over and look at that clock. I have a video that'll be coming on that when that comes out November 5th. Now this blue is interesting. Like I like the colors of it. It seems so different to be sitting on a counter or somewhere. I ordered my Echo Dot with clock in this blue, but for my regular Echo Dot, I went with the black. Yeah, it's it's just a totally different design. Now let's place it next to the previous generation and it's a little wider. It's definitely substantially taller. So I'm gonna have to get used to seeing this thing around. Is it gonna be something my eye is drawn to or is it just gonna fade in the background? Is it one of those pieces where people are like, what is that? And you're like, that's my Echo Dot. That's a she makes things happen in this house. I can't go on without her. Um, but anyways, that was horrible. Now this is an Echo like any other Echo. You're able to use all the power of Alexa to get help with things, set timers, access calendars, listen to music, listen to audio books, control your smart home, and so much more. You get all of that out of this Echo Dot. No different than any other generation of Echoes. When Amazon announced this device, there was not any huge features, no hubs built in, no sensors, nothing crazy about it. It really seems like a year of a design change and an audio change. It does have a 1.6 inch speaker like the previous generation, but this is a front firing speaker now. So that's what I'm really curious about. Amazon says the Echo Dot fourth generation delivers crisp vocals and balanced bass for full sound you can enjoy anywhere. Echoes have really kind of focused on 360 sound and kind of shooting some down and throwing it out. I'm curious to see, which we're gonna check in a few minutes, we're gonna power the two up and listen to them, is what's it like with that front facing speaker out of there? What are we gonna get sound wise? Before we compare the sound, there is a 3.5 millimeter jack. So if you do wanna hook this up to a better speaker, a sound system, any of that, you could come out of the back there. The new Echo Dot is solid plastic on the bottom. On the inside is a plastic grill and then a fabric over top of that. You have buttons on top to control volume up, down, mute, and an action button to call up Alexa. The buttons do feel nice and clicky. It also has Bluetooth, so you can send audio from a device to the dot and use it as a Bluetooth speaker, or you can send the music from the Echo Dot or audio over to another speaker. I wanna hear what this thing sounds like. It's not gonna be a full sound test. I'm gonna use my overhead mic here just to pick up what the two sound like so I you can hear 
what I'm hearing, but it's not gonna be the best judge of sound quality out of this. So it's initial impressions. We'll follow up with the dedicated sound video. I'm gonna power this and set it up, and if you've never set up an Echo device before, Amazon does make it really easy. When you purchase an Echo, it'll automatically default to linking it to your Amazon Prime account. Now, you need to pay attention to that because if you're buying for someone else, you wanna check this is a gift. That way it doesn't automatically get tied to your account. This is what we're looking at it. I started playing with it some and it's really kind of odd to have those lights down there on the bottom here's what the status lights look when you have it on the table counter see a little glow happening right there if you want to call up Alexa what time is it the time is 2 12 p.m. here's what the mute looks like uh, seems kind of odd like I like it I just feel like there's something a little easier to see when it's on the top there. You know what I like to see that I think would be kind of cool is if the buttons could help light up too and help do what this is doing down here. Let's try some requests to see how it sounds. Maybe call up a little bit of music and then we'll do a side by side test. And right now the speaker's actually facing that way. So I would need to turn it towards me to hear how it sounds. Actually, I'll leave it this way for right now so that we pick it up on that microphone. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 2.15 p.m. Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently, in Agora Hills, it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Let's just call up some music real quick to see how this sounds before we compare the two. And remember, this is a front-firing speaker, so I'll leave it this way facing towards you. Alexa, play classical music. The station, Ultimate Classical, on Amazon Music. One of the things I'm noticing when listening to music right now is it sounds good behind it. It doesn't sound bad at all, but you definitely notice, like as I rotated it around, I could hear that the center of the speaker was there and it would shift a little. So just something to think about for me where I put them, I want them to kind of be more focused and not just everywhere with the sound. But uh, let's do the sound comparison between the two. Since this is a YouTube video and I don't want a copyright strike, I'm not gonna play any music you actually know. I'm gonna have to play non-copyrighted music for the test. Let's start off the sound comparison between the two using one of my videos. We'll just go back and forth. Both of these devices are at 50% right now. Don did a September device and service announcement. I was out of town working on a project, but I was able to attend the Amazon event virtually. Listening to that, the vocals seem a little crisper coming out of the new Echo Dot. Now, let's go over to some music. You just like their attention. It's written all over your face. I don't wanna play the quiet time when I'm near you. Oh, I, I want to. Is to be close to you. When hearing these two side by side, you can definitely hear a difference in the all new Echo. Uh, I think it sounds a lot better. I feel like the best way to describe it is if you took kind of the frequency, the range of sound, and I'm not an audio guy, but you took what you heard out of an Echo Dot third generation and you just opened it up, meaning the highs were just crisper and more present and the low end was more present. This Echo Dot fourth generation doesn't sound like it's too heavy in the mid range like the third generation was. This seems really crisp in the vocals. The low end, it's a little speaker, but it's a balanced sound out of it. So I am noticing the difference in there. I think there's something to be said with the speaker kind of facing up at the angle. I think that may be helping with the crisper, cleaner vocals as opposed to the sound coming out of the side of this. I'm going to go in and do some more tests. I really want to hear some more music, but initial thoughts does have a little more bass. I mean, how much bass are you gonna get out of something that's small? Let's be realistic. Uh, and the vocals are de definitely crisper and cleaner 
compared to this. Definitely an improvement. Amazon got to give you credit year after year. You do make these sound better. So it is good to see that there is better sound out of this in this form factor. It's not just to make a ball shaped version of it. So kudos to that. A couple things before we wrap this up. This does have Amazon's new AZ1 Neural Edge processor. And this processor is supposed to help with the machine learning and using new speech models to speed up request. So we'll have to see how that is. I'll have to do some side-by-side -side comparisons to see if you do get faster responses over something like this. Overall, initial impressions, it's round. No, that's not cool. It sounds better. It definitely is a nice step up there. It's a design I think I'm gonna take a little getting used to. One thing I did notice looking at this color versus the chalk or the glacier white, the other colors, the fabric and the plastic match better. So it's not as much of a two-tone as this one is here. Really am curious to, now to see what the black one looks like next to it. It's cute. Uh, it takes getting used to. I mean, it's a lot different from this. But I am glad to check this thing out, learn more about it. It's cool we got to check this out before it even was shipped. So thank you all again for that. What do you think of the new Echo Dot? It's a very different look than what we're used to out of Echoes. Did you uh, pre-order one or do you plan on getting one? If you need a link, check out the one in the description. It'll take you right there. You could get one. Next, make sure to check out this video over here. It has some more great Amazon Echo and information. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.